Hi, I am Erin Gerzone, and happy National Cancer Survivor Day. I'm really honored to be here with all of you and excited to, to share with you um, a, a powerful self-care movement practice that I have found to be the most powerful one that I've come across um, as I've been working over the years as a fitness trainer and a yoga teacher. Um, I'm the owner of the Good Health as a Habit Wellness Studio in Waterford, Maine. And in addition to fitness and yoga, I also teach what's called somatic movement. So I'm an essential somatics movement teacher. And somatic movement isn't something that's super common. Um, so let me just give you an idea about what it is and how it can benefit you. And then we'll do a short practice to experience it. So I think of somatic movement as a practice that is designed to help us manage muscular tension. So then there are two ways that that that's helpful to us. One, it helps us undo tension that has become habitual. So just over, over the years, we've built up tension in the body. So we can undo it with our somatic movement practice. We can also um, help to reduce future accumulation of tension. So both, both of those are really valuable to us. Um, chronic muscular tension results from life. So stress, just stress that we deal with, challenges in life, you know, anything that our mind, you know, our thoughts or, and then our emotions, any of those things directly affect the physical body. So our emotions are our physical response to what our thoughts are in the mind. So if we have a lot of stress and anxiety, um, which as a, a cancer survivor, I imagine you've been through a lot of that, then the body responds with physical tension as a way to experience and try to work with that that those thoughts and emotions. Um, we can also have chronic tension in the body just because of injuries and surgeries. Again, things that you are probably familiar with as a cancer survivor. And over time, this chronic tension creates imbalances in our ability to move freely and and potentially to move without pain. So if you've got any kind of joint pain that you've dealt with, the, the neck, um, the back, the hip, the knee, the foot, shoulder, uh, if you've ever had SI joint dysfunction or sciatica, any of those things involves muscular tension and an imbalance of how the body is moving that is leading, uh, leading to this discomfort or pain. So in our somatic movement practice, we use very small, gentle movements to recreate patterns that we get stuck in when muscles stay contracted and don't remember how to relax. So the wonderful thing about a somatic movement practice, it is very accessible to ev everyone. Um, you can do it seated in a chair, you can do some of it standing, you can do it lying down, and they're all very gentle movements to the point that I've had um, clients use them as a way to keep moving after they've had a surgery because they're so gentle. So they can start to, to bring movement back into the body um, in, in, a, in a very... Um, controlled way that is safe for them to do. And when we, when we do a somatic movement practice, we are working with our conscious mind, essentially our self-awareness. So we address habits of movement, habits being subconscious, and we might do them on purpose. So whatever it is that your body does when it moves, you'll start to notice that when you're doing the movement practice. And you, we might go into that and do it on purpose to help us become conscious of some habit that we've had in the body. And then through that process, we can explore the possibility of moving differently. So doing something that may be more functional and create less discomfort or pain in the body. So a somatic movement practice is not about the number of repetitions like exercise often is, uh, and that's why I call it movement patterns rather than exercises. It's really about complete awareness of how you use your body. So our body is our physical vessel that carries us around all day and allows us to move and do the different things we want to do. When we're focused on the task, we're not thinking about how we use our body. So in our somatic movement practice, that's when we have the opportunity to get really curious and, and figure out, okay, how, 
how do I use my body? Oh, interesting. I'm noticing I'm really tight or feeling really tense in my shoulder while I do this. Do I need to be tensing my shoulder? And, and through that process of, of self-awareness, we can begin to, to do something different. And, and what a better way to celebrate life, which is what this day is all about, than to take ownership of how you feel and how you move and change that trajectory to something that allows you to move more freely and get more joy out of life. If you ever ask yourself, you know, why is it that my head always feels like it's forward of my body? Why do I feel like I have really poor posture and I slouch? Or maybe when you walk, you feel like you have a very dramatic sway side to side, or you go to lay down at night and your back is always achy when you lie down. Uh, maybe you feel a lot of tension all the time in the neck and you don't have a lot of movement of the head or range of movement of the head. All of these things relate to muscular tension. Now, the good news about that is if we're dealing with muscular tension, it is something that our consciousness can change. And that's what's so exciting about a somatic movement practice. So we can use our self-awareness to change what our brain is telling our muscles to do. So if you've got a muscle, you know, in your neck right now that feels tight, your brain is constantly telling that area of the body to stay contracted. And that could be for a variety of reasons. It could have been um, a stress reflex that kicked in from, from the challenges of life. It could have been from some injury or surgery, but whatever it is, it is there. And that's constant messages being sent for those muscles to stay tight, which means they've lost the ability to relax, but we can restore that. And that's the beauty of it. So we can go through and change with our movement practice, what the brain is saying to the muscles and say, okay, could you do something a little bit different? So let's actually experience this so that it makes more sense because it's really, the practice is a sensory experience. So it's about what we're able to feel in the body and how we can change those sensations. So let's see what it's like to actually experience a very brief movement practice. And we're going to start with a scan. So coming into your seat here, letting the weight settle into the seat. And you can take a soft gaze or you can close the eyes. And just relax here and begin to notice your shoulders. Notice your left shoulder first and any sensations around it. Does it feel like it's being pulled forward or back? Maybe it feels like it's heavy and weighed down towards your hip. Or it could feel like it's shrugged up towards your shoulder. Just observe what that feels like. Notice the upper part of your arm where it feeds into the shoulder. What does that feel like? And then bring your attention over to your right shoulder. Does it feel the same as the left or does it feel different? What tension, if any, is pulling on the arm and shoulder? And then let's do a brief.